AJ! AJ! <laughs> AJ! AJ, it's time to get ready for bed. Come here. Come here. You ready for bed? Wanna eat first? Yep, you wanna eat first? Yum. Ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Yeah? After you throw my towels all on the floor? Come on, I have your food. Let's eat. Mmm. I usually give AJ a big lunch so that when it's time to get ready for dinner in bed, I can give him something pretty much um, that's light just to fill him up and get him ready for bed. When I started um, the routine, uh, my biggest concern was making sure that I put him to bed um, where he wasn't hungry. Um, because I was nervous about having a baby sleeping the whole night and, you know, being hungry. So, part of his bedtime routine is him eating dinner. So, here, he's um, actually eating um, the baby oatmeal cereal. Um, this isn't every day. Um, but it just depends on how big his lunch is and how big his um, previous snack was. And I, um, I may feed him the um, baby cereal as something, you know, quick. <laughs> so I can go ahead and get him ready for bed. Or I may, uh, which is what I usually do, is give him um, um, an actual, like, full meal for dinner. And it may be something that's, um, that we're having for dinner and I may chop it up or... Um, fix smaller portions for him but this particular evening he had the baby cereal and as you can see he was very 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 restless and he was already getting sleepy so he was very whiny and pouty so trying to get him to eat as you can see was a bit of a chore usually it's not that hard he'll eat and um, just follow through with the entire routine like he knows what's going on so this particular day as you can see he just spit it out there um so on this particular day he was just really fussy so everybody gets to see <laughs> the bedtime routine with the struggles <laughs> so um he ate the oatmeal cereal and then we moved on to the next part of our bedtime routine. Here, last bite. Last bite. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, it's all gone.
It's all gone. Want to get your diapers so you can get some milk? Yeah? Mm -hmm. AJ? Just <laughs> <laughs> wipe your mouth. AJ, want me to fix your milk? Where's your milk? Where's your milk? Go get it. All right, let's get your milk. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> This last part of the routine, I have AJ's milk and we sit down in the rocking chair and I let him drink his milk. This started, um, of course, since he was born because I um, breastfed. So before I put him to bed, um, I would nurse and then put him on to bed. So as he got off of um, breastfeeding, I began to give him milk before he went to bed so that he could still keep that same routine. So I give him his cup and I rock him in the rocking chair, let him drink. When he's finished, he'll either hand me the cup or um, <laughs> toss it to the side. So once he's um, finished with his milk, I will put him over my shoulder and pat his bag or rub his bag. He'll give me a few burps. And then I'll let him lay there for like just a little while, like maybe not even a full minute and then put him in the crib. He may be still awake or he may be dozing off. Um, ever since he was, you know, um, really young, maybe a few weeks, a month old, um, I, I, I don't put him to bed fully asleep. So that way he could get into the habit of going to sleep on his own. And not every time I put him down, he'll wake back up because he feels like he needs to be held to be, um, to be asleep. Also, I also do the same routine during the day so that um, 
I could wean him off the pacifier because when I put him to bed at night, there's no pacifier. Hey y'all, so you just saw my bedtime routine that I have for AJ. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick because I can hear him screaming right now. Um, <laughs> the joys of a toddler. So my questions for this video um, are basically asking you all about your bedtime routines for your kids. Do you have um, a routine for your kids? Meaning do you have um, like certain things that you do every evening to wind them down for bed? Um, do you have a certain bedtime for your kids and do you plan to have certain bedtime changes like as they get older? And my other question is basically um, when things come up like, you know, you know, you have to travel somewhere or, you know, you have guests or you have different events that you attend or something like that. What do you do when your bedtime routine basically, basically when your child is off schedule? So what do you do? Like, do you just pick up where you left off? Like, let's say you went out somewhere, you get home, and it's like 10 o'clock. Your child's bedtime is at 8. So do you just pick up with the same routine and put put them on to bed? Or does everything just pretty much goes out the window and you just pick back up the next day? So that's what I'm curious about. Now, for inspiration, today's video actually um, would be quite obvious that it reminds me of um, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And basically with that you can touch on so many areas with that. So with my bedtime routine, it's basically part of my training. Um, training AJ and, of course, my future children when they come along. Um, training them to have that, that habit of, you know, a bedtime and winding down. And I know, of course, from experience that kids... It's, for some reason, when it's close to bedtime, when it starts to get dark outside, they tend to get a little bit more hyperactive. And I know because I was one of those kids. Training up the child in the way that they should go. My bedtime routine, um, I feel, is a part of that. Um, you want to train your children up in so many areas. And... You know, you want them to grow up and to do certain things and to do things well and to do the right things. And for me, I want them to grow up and live a life that's pleasing to God. And I want them to grow up and I want them to live a life where they're following the word of God and they're basically in that path. Um, so that even when they get old... Um, you know, they may make mistakes, they may do things, may, they may make wrong choices, but because I've brought them up in that and I've trained them, they won't depart. So they may make mistakes, they may make bad choices, but they know that they remember how they were trained and God is still pulling them back on that path and eventually they'll get right back on it and continue on that path. So... That's my goal, is to, to actually train them up in the way that they should go. Um, not a way that they want to go, and I'm not, I'm not a big believer in um, letting your children decide what they should do and how they should do it. No, as a parent, I believe that that is my job, to parent them, to guide them and train them up so that they are... Um, followers of Christ and that they follow the word and that they are good people and and I know <laughs> having a bedtime routine isn't like gonna make someone a good or bad person but it's one of those habits that I want them to go ahead it's just one of those little simple habits that I want them to grow up already having some stability some structure because um, I don't want them to grow up and 
you know, everything is just kind of like, you know, just whenever they feel like it. They need to understand that there are authority figures and basically having that bedtime routine basically sets that in place. They understand that when mom and dad says it's time to go to bed, it's time to wind down, they're starting to do these certain things, it's time to get ready for bed instead of the child themselves just deciding when they're going to go to sleep and, you know, just when they're going to go to bed, when they feel like it. It's putting that authority in place and it's parenting them, it's training them, letting them know that, okay, you're doing this because you need your sleep. If you want to function well and and actually follow God's word the way that you should, you need to have your rest. You need to get those hours in. And um, I know for the child, it isn't always that fun because they want to stay up and play. I was that kid. I was the kid that didn't want to take naps. I didn't understand the point of naps. I'm like, um, it's daytime um, and I have all these toys to play with. I don't have time to go to sleep. What? I go to sleep when it gets dark. So now that I'm an adult, oh my gosh, I, I, I love naps now. Um, another reason why I didn't like naps was because um, I dealt with insomnia really bad. So if I took a nap, I could kiss, you know, sleeping during the night goodbye. There was no way I was going to go to sleep that night. And... um so I'll be, be up pretty much most of the night. So that was another reason. That was mostly um, when I was in high school, mostly why I didn't like taking naps. Um, but I will say, <clears throat> once I became a mom, I can take a nap and still go to bed on time and still sleep the whole night. <laughs> so... We want to instill these habits in her children because we want them to develop these good habits, these healthy habits, because it's good for them. It's good for their body. We want them to function healthily. So um, that's why, you know, I, I put a lot of effort into AJ's bedtime routine along with other things. It's not just the bedtime routine, but that's just what we're talking about in this video. So... I, I I put a lot of effort in that because I want him to develop those habits that, okay, during the day, this is what goes on. When it's evening, it's time to wind down, get ready for bed, get your rest. So that way <clears throat> you can wake up the next day and be well rested and do whatever it is that you need to do. So once again, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up the child in the way that he should go. Mm -hmm.